To a boating nightmare along the Outer Banks, some major restrictions are now in effect with some big fines if boaters don't comply. Fishermen are upset about it. They're asking when something can be done to change the situation. Ten of your sides, Jason Marks is in Dare County now with a look at the mess and how it needs to be fixed. Jason? Nicole, this is a big problem. It has been for years here in the Oregon Inlet. I can tell you there are a lot of fishermen right now who would love to get out there and get back to work, but they can't because they're parked here in the marina. This is the worst it's ever been, ever. In some places under the Bonner Bridge, the water is less than four feet deep. It's so shallow, the Coast Guard decided to restrict bigger boats that want to head out to the Atlantic Ocean from going under the bridge. Public safety is our primary concern. Coast Guard officials say the move was made after one of their boats hit the bottom trying to pass under the bridge over the weekend. It's a big decision, and we, it's not a decision that we take lightly. The depth of the water changes depending on the way the winds are blowing, but the problem is always going to be lurking. In the past, the county has gotten help from the federal government to help pay for dredging, but funding has dried up, meaning the dredging isn't happening as often as it should. It's frustrating as heck to me that the federal government has just totally abandon their commitment to this inlet. I don't blame the people for being upset. Congressman Walter Jones represents this part of North Carolina. He says he's been fighting for years to keep the money flowing to help watermen in the area. How could we spend millions and billions of dollars in a foreign country like Afghanistan to build their roads, to build their schools, and we can't even do the same here in America? Since the bigger boats are stuck in the marinas, thousands of dollars are being lost daily and that will continue until the problem is fixed. Oregon Inlet is my means of getting to where I make a living. And right now they can't get to that, the Atlantic Ocean. That's the big problem here. They cannot go under the Bonner Bridge. I can tell you two dredges are headed here uh, to the Oregon Inlet. They should be here as early as tomorrow night. And hopefully by Wednesday morning they can start working. It all depends on what the weather is going to be. But hey, it could take several weeks before the fishermen are allowed to get back out and use that Bonner Bridge. For now, that's the latest here in Manio. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.